Hello, in this video we're going to learn how to place slots. I believe uh, someone asked me uh, how to do that uh, because there was a question on the test referring to that. Um, and I'll show you how to work with slots. So basically a slot is a hole in a product or a, a long hole in a product. Um, on my screen I have a simple rectangle um, and let's say that rectangle is my product. It is like maybe wood or metal or something of that nature. And I want to put a slot in that wood. Um, first thing I would do is I would construct the slot first and then place it where they want the slot. Um, now, and of course, there's different ways in which they can measure that. They may, um, you know, tell you to place the slot based on, um, you know, the lines of the slot itself, or they may uh, base it on center of the slot, or they may base it on the center of one of the radiuses of the slot. And um, I'll show you how uh, we can get all of that positioned appropriately. All right. Um, now here I have my product on the screen. And let's say they tell me they want a three inch slot. Now when they say they want a three inch slot, that is being measured from one end to the other to the center of the radius that is the, the end of each slot. And just for um, you know simplification, we're gonna say the, the radius of those slots is 180 degrees, okay? So first off, uh, when I'm making a slot that uh, just has regular 180 degree radiuses on either end. Um, I'll start with the circle tool. Okay, and I'll just simply place um, two circles. And uh, the first first thing I want to know is how wide, you know, how, how wide do they want this? Or actually how tall do they want that slot? Um, let's say they want the slot to be three units, you know, three units this way and one unit tall. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle that is actually 0.5 units radius. Okay, so 0.5 in there. And okay, so 0.5 radius means I have a one inch diameter circle. Um, they say they want the uh, slot to be you know, three units wide this way. So to do that, I will just simply make a copy of this circle. Select it, push the enter button, specify a base point, and I'll just go ahead and hover out here to activate this very center. That's where I'm gonna be measuring to. And I'll click, I'll start dragging in the direction they want me to go. And then I'll just type in three for three units. And um, then I'll hit escape to get out of that. So now I have two circles that are exactly three units apart measured by the center. And, and that's how they measure um, these slots as they measure from one side to the other to the center of the arcs that are on either end. Because this is a 180 degree slot uh, or 180 degree radius on each end all I have to do is draw lines and um, I go down here and make sure my snaps for my quadrant are turned on okay and then I can go back to my work here and just snap onto that upper quadrant here and then snap onto it here okay and then repeat here or you could just either uh, offset it, mirror it, copy it, however you want to do that. And now I almost have a slot. I want to use the trim tool in here and I'm just going to select all to make all points possible, uh, cutting uh, points, and just simply remove parts of those uh, circles. And now I have a slot. Now one of the things I do, uh, and this is just being extra careful is uh, they may want to ask you what the area of that slot is um, to verify that you have the correct size slot. So I would go ahead and join everything. So it is just one piece of geometry 
Okay, so it's actually just one slot now, and you're going to have to move it anyway, so you might as well join it all together. Now, positioning the slot, um, you know, I can position it from a geometric center. Let me see if my geometric is turned on, and it is. Okay, so if I click on it there, I can start to get, no, I don't actually move. I'm going to click on the move command, and now if I hover, I can start getting some, uh, some some feedback from the computer now just kind of activated um the uh two horizontal lines the one at the top and the one at the bottom and i get the geometric center and if i go over here i can actually activate the radial center right there and then decide activate that radial center and those could be different options for placement of this slot so let's say they want this slot placed uh, to the center of the slot, um, down here toward the bottom somewhere, um, let's say, and I'll, and I'll draw some little guidelines. So I'm going to go on the line tool, and uh, let's say they want it, um, uh, let's see, let's say about two units from the bottom. And they may have this hand drawn for you so you can really easily see what it is they're looking for. And then maybe three units from the side okay so that's basically that's where they want the center of that slot to be right there at that intersection so again I'm gonna turn on my move tool and select what I want to move hit enter and my center is coming up so then I just place my center right there. Now I'd do the same if it was the radius that they wanted centered then I would just choose one or the other of the radius that they wanted to be centered in that location. Uh, then of course after you do that you can get rid of your guidelines.